Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name's Sal. If you're new, press that subscribe button. So in today's video, I'm going to be talking to you about my veneers. Veneers, 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 veneers. I am so happy I've had this done. It's made a difference, like a big difference, especially in my confidence. I get to smile more. <laughs> so I went to Dental Center Turkey Antalya to have my teeth done. I will be placing the link down below where you could go and check them out. They are really professional and I would recommend to all my friends and family. So I'm going to explain the whole process to you and how it's done and how I actually decided on having these done. So let's actually begin guys because growing up I've never liked my teeth. I was always whitening them and I just kept ruining my enamel and I thought you know what I can't be bothered anymore and I had a gap. A gap was kind of like annoying me so much I used to smile in pictures and I used to delete the pictures straight away and when I used to go out with my friends and stuff they used to take pictures of me and I was like no am I smiling take it off because you can see a massive gap it was just really really affecting my confidence and I didn't want that to affect me even longer I could have had the option of having veneers I mean um, braces but having the braces done will take me so long and I didn't actually want to go through the whole process so I was searching online came across some companies in the UK and then I was like, oh, and then someone said to me, try Turkey. A lot of people have been there from like the reality stars, TV, actors, every, a lot of people, models have been there. So a friend recommended me. So I went online and had a look at the website. I saw the before and after pictures and I was like, oh my gosh, these pictures are amazing. So I got in contact with Dental Center Turkey and I was like, you know what, I actually want to come and have it done so they asked me for my pictures I sent them my teeth from front on side and they said to me that I am compatible and I was like oh my god I am so happy because if you're not compatible they'll tell you straight away depending on how your bite is and um yeah so how your bite is and your jaw is because sometimes you can't get veneers if your bite's like on the bite so if your mouth is like like that you need to have that sorted before you have anything done so I could have had um, braces to close that gap, but I'm just impatient and I don't want to actually do that. So once I sent all my pictures through, they said to me, you're, co you're compatible. They sent it to the dentist and said, okay, perfect. You can have laminates or um, Emacs full crown. So laminates are Emacs as well. Laminates are just a top layer. So think of it like a fake nail, you stick it on. But the actual crowns are, they go on top. Um, honestly, best thing I've done and I wouldn't, ever regret doing so I think it rare is around between 240 250 per tooth I'm not quite sure because I saw the list there and I was like perfect that's fine so if you have a look I think their prices are online as well um so guys I've got my dog with me as well um so when dentist um said to me I can come I actually went and booked it I was looking at hotel prices and flights I was like oh it's so expensive then I came across some hotel called Puddin Marina which was actually really good because I know it, it's like you're not gonna actually spend time at the hotel. There's no point of spending all this money and going to a, like a luxurious hotel when you're not actually gonna spend so much time there. So I booked it and I went. And the good thing about Dental Centre Turkey, they literally arrange all your transport. So they pick you up in the morning. I got to Turkey. The next they text me saying, "Okay, Sal, we're gonna pick you up at 9 a.m. tomorrow morning." I was really nervous because I was so scared. I don't know what's gonna happen. I don't know how my teeth's gonna look. Am I like compatible for it? But they did say to me, I am compatible. So what I did guys, I went to, um, they picked me up in the morning and then I went to the clinic. The clinic is amazing. They have so many different clinics in Turkey, but the one in Antalya is um, the VIP suite. So what they do, they proper luxury. Like it's amazing. You walk and you're like, wow, this is amazing. Like it's not a dentist that you get to go to in London and stuff. So when I got there, I went into the consultation room, the dentist had a really look at my teeth and she was like, you know what, you can actually have your teeth done, Sal. I actually thought to myself, you know what, I'm going to do it, it's worth it, why not do it? So I think it's, it was around like 240 per tooth, that's what um, it is, like in the UK it was like £900 per tooth. and. The material they use in Turkey, it's Emacs one, that's why it looks really natural, really nice, neat teeth. Like, when you smile, it doesn't look too fake, it looks really good. And people say to me, so wow, you've got really, really nice teeth. I wouldn't know you had veneers done. 
but sometimes you see on TV people have the veneers done and look really, really fake and ugly. I didn't want that. That's why I was so scared because I saw on TV all these like nasty things and oh, I was really scared. But then when I saw people having it done coming out from the treatment room, I was like, wow, I actually want this. Like this is actually perfect. So you go into consultation, they check your teeth and stuff, and then they ask you what shade you want and what style. So I went for something more natural. So with your thangs, like I had my thangs elongated instead of having them all one length. Because what happens is when you have it all one length, it can look really Hollywood smile, like proper like, you can tell it's veneers and stuff. I didn't want that. I wanted to go really natural. And I went and had a look at the whitening chart and I was like, ooh, there's BL1, BL2, BL3. So BL1 is a bleach one. So the white Hollywood ones. I originally went for BL2, then I changed my mind because I thought, you know why I went like Because when you're actually comparing shades to your actual teeth, my teeth were a bit yellow. Even though I was white in them, compared to the BL1, it was too yellow. Like, it was a massive difference, and I was scared, oh, people are going to laugh at me. But then I saw BL2 and BL1 together, there wasn't a much of a difference. So I said to myself, Sal, go for BL2, but it just about... I was about to go into the dentist. I spoke to the dentist, it's up to you, complete whatever you want. And I actually said to them, you know what, I'm not gonna get the BL2, I want the BL1. Because I didn't wanna like, uh, regret not getting it done. So when I actually went to the dentist guys, they examined my teeth and they said to me, Sal, you, you're capable of having the crown veneers. I was like, oh, brilliant. Because I had a gap there and I wanted to close it so, I was like, come on, let's do it. So I was a bit nervous. They put me, they put some injection, numb injections, anesthetic, and I was like, okay, perfect. Let's do it. It started to feel a bit numb, and I was like, okay, oh, it's very nerve wracking because you don't know like what's happening, or you can hear like drilling. So I've got footage here of them prepping my teeth for the actual thing. So what happens first day? They prep all your teeth, and then they make your um, temporaries on. So you put your temporaries on and temporaries can last, but you have to wear them for like two, three days until your actual teeth are actually made. So they have a lab where they design everything. You come in and you examine everything. So they've done my temporaries and I was like, ooh, it really is looking white. It really looks nice. So it wasn't painful after. Like a lot of people say to me, was it painful? Uh, it wasn't painful, but the thing is, when they file your teeth down, you're like, oh, wow, do I look scary? Because they literally file your teeth down a little bit just to prepare for the crowns to fit perfect. So once that was done, guys, they put my um, temporaries on. I was so happy. I thought to myself, I am really excited. I can't wait to come back. So they gave me two days off just so I can relax. My mouth can just get better because obviously there's a lot of drilling and going through this. You're on your mouth. Your mouth was open for a couple of hours. So, um, the dentists were amazing. They proper look after you. Like, that's what I like. I don't like someone that rushes stuff. The dentist wear was amazing. I'd recommend it to anyone. A few days later, once my mouth is feeling a bit better, they picked me up, went to the dentist, and the dentist showed me on the TV screen of how my teeth are going to look. And I was like, ooh, amazing. They were like, okay, do you want to elongate your uh, fangs, your canines? I was like, perfect. So you can drag it down. Just make them shorter, longer. I made them a bit longer. I just went to basically get to play around and see how your teeth are going to look. And then they just put it in the lab and they create your teeth. So you go back to your hotel, you get to rest, chill. And then what happens is, um, I think a day later or two days later, depending on how your treatment is and when um, your actual capable will come back and having it done. So two days later, I went back and they showed me my teeth like on the... Um, was it my mold and I was like wow this is amazing like I can't actually wait to have these done so when I actually went and sat on a the chair they just put them on one by one and I was like wow before you actually cement them they put it on to see and if it looks perfect I was shocked I actually started crying I was like wow my teeth look brilliant and it just made me really happy and I felt really confident straight away the um once they clip them on like put a cement on and stuff they like adjust your bite everything so you're perfect to go so the next day once it was on i felt really really good i could just couldn't stop smiling and taking pictures it's like getting a little puppy i just got a puppy recently and i can't get him off my hands because i love him so um my teeth were just brilliant and 
the aftercare is not hard guys it was basically just looking after and brushing two times a day and also flossing flossing is really important there wasn't much pain like you get a bit of a sensitivity here but after two to three weeks it goes away completely so guys if you enjoyed this video make sure you give it a thumbs up and make sure you do check out dental center turkey they're on instagram as well contact them direct because honestly they're always there for you they help you and also um, if you have any questions go ahead and ask them ask me as well and i can ask i can answer as many as i can so ask me any questions guys and if i can answer it i can i love you all and again these all my before and afters i'd recommend it to anyone friends and family so guys this was my before and after of my teeth i was like oh my god these are amazing